Chinese.com and Chinese Stocks TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases on the Chinese small and mid-cap space at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great Chinese investment. This is Monday, December the 6th. Uh, quality over quantity, so I've only got one press release for you, but it is a great one. It comes out of China Electronic Holdings, trades in the OTC under the stock symbol CEHD. Uh, they're, they're one of rural China's retailers, biggest retailers of household appliances and consumer electronics, and the company is reporting that they've opened 257 new stores over the past 12 months. I love the strategy of this, business, of this company, and I love, more importantly, where it's at. Rural China, where you have a fast up-and-coming middle, uh, middle-income group of people, uh, going to be able to do tremendous business there. In fact, the company says they're continuing to benefit from positive trends in consumer spending power across uh, the PRC. Uh, electronics retail market, according to the company, is expected to be worth $210 billion in 2013. More importantly, though, they reference a Boston Consulting Group uh, recent PRC report that states small city markets are less consolidated than markets in large cities and provide attractive opportunities for new entrants. I couldn't agree more. A lot of fragmentation. China Electronics Holding will have a chance to either dominate its brand and perhaps even roll up and consolidate the space in those areas. So I really like what they're doing and is showing up in their numbers. Uh, last year, for fiscal year ended December 31st, 2009, they reported after-tax net income of just under $10 million on $47.7 million in revenue. This year, the company is targeting a net income number of $12 million U.S., uh, as well as an upside listing, an uplisting to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. This as a condition of some recent financings uh, totaling about $5.3 million. So I think they're on the right track. I think they're in the right place. They've got more than 1,000 retail stores in rural areas of the PRC's fourth and fifth tier markets. I think that's great. I've seen a lot of companies succeed and do very well uh, in, by attacking that, that market segment. So I have every reason to believe that China Electronics Holdings is definitely worth looking at because they might be able to do the same thing. Stock price is also reacting very positively. 570 was the close on Friday. 599 is a 52-week high, so they're essentially there. $2 is a 52-week low, so they are very, very well uh, for their shareholders. That's a wrap. As always, if you look for more great Chinese small mid-cap companies, get stuff to the front page of ChinaSecurities.com. Watch the show on a daily basis, or if you can't, watch on our syndication partners at places like YouTube, uh, iTunes, wherever it's comfortable for you. Two, take a look at the best press releases coming out of the industry, uh, out of the entire space over the last few days. We're tracking about 250 of what we believe to be the best Chinese small mid-cap companies trading on North American exchanges. We're putting the best press releases on our front page, separated by industry. And finally, get stuff in the marketplace to take a look at those 250 some odd companies. Uh, you can uh, great succinct descriptions of each one so you can quickly find out what they're doing. But more importantly, you can filter that list by industry and or exchange to find the ones that best suit your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.